Are you trying to count cells with text in Excel? In this video, I'll show you how to count cells that include values and text, how to count cells with only text, and how to count the number of times specific text occurs in a range. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work, where we offer straightforward, non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter, and improve your Microsoft Office skills. Now, if you're using my 100 plus steps to proficient workbook to improve your Excel skills, I've popped the topic number this video relates to in the description box. If you haven't yet claimed a copy of this workbook, I've also added a link to where you can grab yourself a copy. Right, let's look at how to count cells, including text in Excel. So here we have the count function. And as you can see, it's looking down a column full of text. Now, unfortunately, we're returning a zero, and that's exactly what the count function does. So it's only counting values. If I came in here and changed paid to one, two, three, being a number or a value, look, it will actually count a number. And there's only one number in that column. So you might be finding this is a problem because it's only picking up values and not text. So how do we actually count values and text? It's very simple. We can use something called the count a function. So I'm just coming up here. I'm going to pop an a at the end of the word count. And that changes the function to count a. Now when we do this, we now have a function that will allow us to count everything. So I'm just going to go over here and show you this function counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty, which means it will count both text and numbers and give you the total. And 20 is correct. But what if we're only wanting to count the number of cells that have text and eliminate the cells that have numbers? So we can do this. We can actually come up here and add to our formula minus and use the count function going over the same range and closing the brackets and of course what will happen is the count a will count all cells and then the count will count how many cells hold a value or a number and of course that will subtract from the total number of cells that the count a returns giving you the correct number so there's 19 cells that have text in them so if I come down and change this back to paid Look at that, it changes to 20. Now there is another way we could do this. We can use the count if function. I'm just gonna come up here. Now equals count if, open bracket, going over the range, and then we're using a comma, and our criteria is double quote, asterisk, double quote, and closing the bracket. And that will give you the same result. But what if we want to count the number of times specific text occurs? For example, if we wanted to know how many records had the status of outstanding. So to do this, we can use the count if function again. So I'll just press my delete key. And what we're going to do is we're going to go equals count if, open bracket, we'll go over the range again, comma, and we'll type inside double quotes the word outstanding. Now it's not case sensitive, so you don't need to have an uppercase, lowercase, proper case here. Excel will find the word outstanding regardless of what case it's typed in. Closing the bracket and pressing enter. And there we go, it's actually saying that we have got nine records of outstanding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So the count if, I'll just go into here again, is looking down a range and it's looking for specific text. Please make sure that you spell it correctly or it will not find it. And for one last option, if you are looking for specific text, you can use something called the count ifs function. That will allow you to do a count using more than one criteria. Let's have a look at this. So I'm just going to press my delete key. If I go equals count ifs this time. So we're looking at the plural rather than the singular count if. So what we're going to do now, you're looking at the criteria range one. So we're going to go down here and we're going to set that as outstanding. So we're actually saying to Excel, please go down that column and look for anything that has a status of outstanding. Another comma. And we're now moving on to criteria range two. Now watch this. I can go over to another column, highlight that, comma. This time I'm actually going to say A in example limited. You'll see that it's not in the same case as what's in the actual spreadsheet itself. 
and I'm just using my double quotes to close that and I'm closing that second criteria. Now you can build multiple criteria, you don't have to just have two. I'm going to press my enter key and it's saying that there's four. So what's happening here is Excel is looking for outstanding and it must be the supplier name of AN Example Limited. So we've got one there, we've got two, three, four down here. So that's perfect. So count ifs allows you to be even more strategic in counting the number of times specific text occurs, not only in one column, but also where we can test for multiple criteria. Now if this has been helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing, because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.